Hello everybody, hope you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have a very good video for you all today. It is the Elliott wave count of the bottom being in for Bitcoin. So this count actually took me about three to four hours to go through. I have gone through and made sure the Fibonacci relationships are very nice. It's symmetrical. It's, you know, extremely, extremely valid. So I really hope that you enjoy this video. Um, and yeah, it's going to be very educational and nice for, uh, you know, a trading perspective of a bull. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into this. So yeah, very nice with the five, especially with the five waves ending here on the Z. So obviously we're looking at it as a W, X, Y, X, Z extended correction with now being in wave one, two coming up for the third, which we'll cover later. Um, so yeah, very nice count and I hope that you enjoy. So I'm going to go through quickly the obviously the extension in the fifth here on then coming down into more detail of the extended correction. Okay, so obviously we're just looking at this. This is on the BitMEX chart, but looking at the one, two, three, four then coming up for a one two three four five within this fifth okay very extended fifth wave um but yeah obviously the one two three four five is how i've got that labeled okay and then we get our correction so high of twenty thousand. we come down for an a a b and a c okay and let me tell you at this point because you know this was definitely definitely a you know how would you be trading it in the moment at this point i can remember you you are buying okay as you see this come down you are always buying at this low okay because you know there's a few different reasons you do get between a, a 618 and 786 uh, retracement okay and that's what you're looking to look for, you know what you're looking for here between the 618 and the, the 786 where do we come down to between the 618 and the 786 but not just that we also come up to the second wave of the extended fifth okay so for that one two three four five we come down to the second wave of the fifth okay and between the 618 and the 786 so without a doubt at this point you would have been you know looking for buys okay without a doubt when you see this coming down you would have been looking for buys in the moment did it play out uh, as a new impulse no it didn't but you would have been technically been able to say a very strong retracement of the and you did get a very nice abc in here you did come down between the 618 and the 786 so you know you would could have definitely have bought in here uh, and you well i mean you it wouldn't have played out overall as a new impulse but we did obviously get another one two three which is now obviously labeled as an a b c in the x okay so then we've got an a b c for the w and a b c in the x and i would just like to say to you that you know buying here was actually very nice because it did give you over 100 percent gains okay from the bottom to that top OK, you're looking at around 97 percent gain. OK, so, you know, nothing to be uh, smirked at. That's obviously a very nice game. Um, so there you have then you have the W. Then you've got an ABC in the X. OK. And at this point, as we start to roll over, obviously the impulse of a new fifth wave coming up or even the third still being in, obviously ruled out totally as we fall down here. So then we've got the ABC, ABC, WX. What do we get again? ABC in the Y. And now we've got an, an ABC, ABC, ABC in the Y wave. OK, so um, basically WXY. Have we then formed a new impulse here? No, we have not. And at this point, I can remember extremely well. Well, I was one of the biggest bears in the whole uh, cryptocurrency space saying we are in such a bearish scenario right now. We are going to be forming this extended sort of correction and we are in the descending triangle. And at this point, you would be surprised how many bulls there were still in the space with people calling for new highs to be coming. Obviously, that is not how I was trading. I was trading it very bearishly. Uh, looking at this, obviously here we've seen some sort of symmetrical triangle, but obviously I was, you know, calling this as a descending triangle, very bearish, um, you know, expecting this to break down. Did it break down? Yes, it did. It was a very nice call. And uh, yeah, if you've been following me long enough, you would have also made money with me on that shorts uh, that we took from here. But um if you're new here, then uh, congratulations that you can now enjoy some top technical analysis with me. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, go through what we have here on the extended X. OK, coming down for the end in the W. OK, we obviously have the ABC in the A. OK, ABC in the B, ABC in the C. A, B, C in the D and then a small, <laughs> a smaller A, B, C in the E, OK, with this top upper wick, which then gives us our X wave. We have then seen an A, B, C, uh, the A, B, C, D, E in the X wave. OK, and you can th this is totally valid. You see A, B, C, D, E's in X. OK, so then going back, we have the W, X, Y, X to finish. We need to see another A, B, C or extended in the Z wave. OK, in the Z. So what do we have here? OK, this was the challenging part to try and get a nice finish to end down here okay let's bring this up to the four hour chart and show you what i have in here okay so i see this as two ends obviously from the x wave the top of the e a one two 
three, four, five, giving us our A wave. So A is in. Then to what do we get? We get an A, B, C in the B. Okay. What I would say is this C wave is very small, but technically it's there. Okay. So you would be expecting, you know, really a nice one to one extension, but that would have obviously been giving very low prices. Where did we find support? We did find support. Okay. If you just see here on this trend line, taken from the top on the what is this oh i need to move this so it's currently so from the, that top around the 8th of october okay 8th of november apologies 8th of november and then extending this down to obviously where we found support in the end of you know two three four five you know about six touches here on the four hour chart so then we found support there with the psychological three uh three thousand and there are some other fibonacci extensions retracements coming down to the the, the uh, two three six negative so you know we did find in the end support around this three thousand one hundred but here we're looking at the elliott wave counts and obviously one two three four five a b c in the b coming down for a small c of a one two three a b c in the four one two three let me zoom in here and show you because this fifth wave was challenging, but you can see here a one, two, three, four, five. Okay, with three is obviously longer than five. Okay, one is the longest, but three is not the shortest, so it's valid. Um, challenging, but you obviously can see a one, two, three, four, five. Okay, to finish. And here on the four hour chart, the subdivisions there. I uh, uh, trust me, I've spent a long time going through this, and the subdivision is there on every single wave. OK, um, and that obviously gives us our finish. So then when we zoom out, we have the potential of the bottom being in for Bitcoin. So then we would obviously finish with our one, two, three, four, five coming down in the W, X, Y, X, Z. OK, and now we're forming the one, two, third impulse wave to move upwards. OK, what I would say down here as well is you have to remember that we did get a very strong retracement. OK, all the way down really close, you know, within uh, $300 of, of the 886. OK, so it was a strong retracement. And if you look in terms of percentage from the high down to the low that we got to, you know, an 84% retracement. So, you know, this is, you know, technically, you know, this is, you know, a very nice retracement that we saw a very strong, big retracement. Um, so, you know, you have to have this in your mind that we have potentially finished down here. OK, this other trend line that I have is taken from around the, the lows of the 31st of December 17. OK, extended on through the X wave and then coming down to touch the, you know, this 6th, 7th of November high. OK, and extend it down across. OK, and as you can see here today, right now, we are starting to break above it. OK, so this is telling this, this you know, is, is obviously if you're looking at this as a resistance trend line, nice for the bulls too. OK, finally being able to break above that resistance. You know, this is a valid count. And then this is a, a one, two coming up from maybe a one, two of the third. OK, so, you know, you're looking here as a bullish scenario discount. Obviously, it's the bullish scenario of the bottom being in for Bitcoin. OK. What I would really quickly like to show you all is if we load up here on the indicators, you know, what helped helped us find support moving average. We can just bring up the moving average, the simple moving average, which I love to use across the stock markets. Uh, very, 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 very helpful if you look at this 200 weekly uh, moving average. And you can just see here how Bitcoin, you know, did find support once, twice off of the 200 weekly moving average. This is a support that is held across all markets, all equity equities, con, you know, commodities, Forex. This is a very very respectable moving average to be trading off of for a long term time frame trader. OK, if you are, you know, like an investment, uh, you, you know, you're in this for long term investments. The 200 week is an important you know, metric to look at. And this just lines up nicely with the potential of the bottom being in where you've had one, two touches. OK, this video is just, you know, in my opinion, needed to, you know, bring your attention to these counts where, you know, Bitcoin could potentially have bottomed out right now. Um, so I do hope that you have enjoyed this one. And uh, yeah, I hope it's been pleasing for you and you've taken something beneficial from it. OK, so obviously, yeah, just looking here, A, B, C in the W, A, B, C in the X, A, B, C in the Y, A, B, C, D, E in the X, and then coming down for an A, B, C to finish here with the Z wave. OK, what I would sh show you as well is this 3000 region line support that I had here was obviously taken from this high on around the, the 9th of June, extended across to the low around the 15th of September. And, you know, that's that was a support line and just seeing here off of these candle close closes okay from these candle closes we did hold this you know block very nicely where we had obviously seen a old area of support here the candle close here okay candle close extending this across uh, you do see that in the end that's where we found support for this trend line around with that support so you know there's there's definitely a bullish scenario to be had here i hope that you've enjoyed this and it's been very educationally beneficial for you so thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah if you've enjoyed please give me a thumbs up and a comment very much appreciated and i really do hope that you have a very good day so thank you everybody so much and i'll catch you in the next video cheers cheers thank you